I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we talked about what you guys maybe learned after South Carolina. Talk about the mood after the game and what you learned after this game. Um, the mood was more so like, we don't want to let each other down, but it seemed like it was points in the game, it was times in the game where we let each other down. And it wasn't, it was so much like going out there and execute the plays Coach Saban gave us. Cause we didn't do that all the time, but we try and we were trying to do what he wanted us to do. And we kind of fell apart and trying to do that. Um, it took, took our offense a little second to get clicking. And uh, once they started rolling, defense was doing pretty okay. And then we had little holes that they found. And, and it's just those little things we just don't need on this team, um, on any team, I don't think. But it's just, we just got to get back to playing Alabama football and doing the best we can and getting better at what we can do. I know that uh, this season, a lot of your uh, a lot of your teammates talked about you developing into a leader. Before, you were the guy that kind of danced and joked and, and all that. But you, a lot of your teammates have said you developed into a leader. Are you having to pick up some of the guys, maybe some of the younger guys, and get their head back on straight? Yeah, man, I kind of I find myself doing that a couple of times. You know. um, Every time, like I kind of develop, I kind of see myself develop into a leader. Um, looking back at Rolando McClain and Rashad Johnson, and and looking at them, and you you see kind of dwell on see how they they was acting and how they interacted with everybody. And Antoine Caldwell, um, they laughed and joked, but at the same time, when it was time to play football, it's time to play football. It's time for to go out there and strap it on, have fun, and dominate at the same time. And is it seems kind of harder to get that going, but it's just cause I, I'm, I haven't been in a position before um, on on a level that we're on now, and just trying to do what I can and do what I can. Me, Dante, Courtney Upshaw, Marvin, Mark Barron, we just go out there. We're just trying our best to get everybody together. You no, know, we still develop into a good team. We just trying to get the young kids involved and get them mature and get them developed to the point where they can just go out there and won't have, have to think twice about what they're doing. One last question for you. Um, the question that's been posed to me, and i got to ask somebody who's on the football team, is the issues that have uh, that have happened this year, the mistakes in the game on Saturday and, and that have been even in the, in the wins, is it because of youth and experience or is it because of some people feeling entitled because of what happened last year? I think it's more so. I don't think it's the youth. I don't, I just think it's the immaturity. Coach Saban talked talk to the team a lot about maturity. If we are just mature as a defense, as an offense, as a team all the way around, age, um, gender, it doesn't even matter. You just, we mature and do what we're supposed to do, do um, capitalize on the plays. All it takes is maturity. Knowing what you got to do, extra film work, knowing who you got to play, knowing the individual players knowing who you're going to go against, that just takes maturity. Take time out your day, put your social life to the side, and go out there and just capitalize on what you got to do. Know your, know your opponent. Weakness is in strength. So once we get everybody buying into that, we'll be a much better team. Because that's what all our players in the past do. You know? We're not trying to compare ourselves to them, but at the same time, they have accomplished things that we're trying to reach. And we're a whole different team. We just want to. We just want to make it, make it, make a team for ourselves and have identity of our own. Are you eager to find out if this team has what it takes to to show maturity and and uh, understand that there's to to be able to still play the type of football that you're wanting to play? Um, look at that team now. We have that maturity. We've shown it in games. We've shown it. Let, um, 17, on the last 17 minutes of the Arkansas game, the second half of the Tennessee game, we didn't show that we have that maturity. Our young our young player, they, they stepped up and made plays that was big for us. Um, we show that maturity. It's just, we just got to play a complete game with it. We got to have their, their mind got to be focused in for a whole 60 minutes, not 30 minutes, not 7 minutes, not 17, not a quarter. We need a whole game. So once they buy into that, it'll be a lot better for for the unit. Hey Marcel, you, to start the season, you know, we were talking SEC championship, national championship. <coughs> you think somewhere along the way the the, the attention to the detail was a little bit lost? Yeah, I, I feel attention to detail was lost greatly, but 
it just we just gotta find ourselves and you know we we were so people was co kept coming to us about the national championship SEC winning our division we got so caught up into that that the young like you, you tell the young kids that or younger players that's what they that's what they thinking about we well we won the national championship again we have our offense coming back we lost 11 stars on defense we lost 10 stars, nine stars on defense we still we filled in we still got good players we got great players. Everybody like, okay, okay, we can do this, we can do this. We playing good, we play, we gelled together during the spring, did good during the summer, during the fall camp, I mean, camp. So everybody's just thinking like, they, they head just got a little, to the point they weren't thinking about the games. Just because we Alabama didn't think we were gonna go out there and just capitalize and beat people just because who we are, just because the name is gonna cross our jersey. We still gotta go out there and strap on and play against that team. Now we probably underestimated a couple teams and they came and jumped on us a couple times. Arkansas jumped on and we underestimated them. We knew Mallet was pretty good, but we just underestimated everybody else and they jumped on us and we had to dig it out and dig it out and come up with a victory. I mean, if they just put their mind together and don't think about the SEC, don't think about the national championship, think about doing the little things that it takes to get to where you're trying to go, the outcome will be there. That's just how I feel. Hey, what, what do you want to see then? These last four games, you got four games left. What do you want to see? I mean, I'm not even thinking about national championship. I never thought about the rankings. I can care less about winning our division. I just want to see our young kids. I want to see uh, the seniors, the juniors. I want to see everybody gel together. The last four, three games, how many games we have, and go out there and play the best football that we can play. It doesn't matter what the outcome is. We don't think about the end of the season. We're not thinking about next year, not thinking about anything. We're just more about just focusing in, doing what we can, get extra film work, and play the best football we can play. Just everybody just show maturity as a whole, even me. We have to we have start, start up front for the D-line. I'm doing the best I can to get everybody together, round us up, and do the best that we can do. Thanks, Marcel. Thanks.